What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix21 back with a new episode of Fresh Kicks. We'll go over upcoming sneakers and I'll give you all the release information and everything I know about the sneaker. But before we get into it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Check out my X page at Matrix21 and my Etsy shop at TD Made. It. Both links are down below in the description. But enough of that, let's go. Let's get to the kicks. So today we'll be taking a look at the Jordan New Retro One Low in the Patent Bread colorway. Yeah, another new retro, but it looks pretty cool. So let's get right into it. So part one is breakdown and breakdown overall. Look at the sneakers. I give you colors used, materials used, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So here it is. Here's the new retro one in the pattern, uh, red pattern bread colorway. And it looks pretty cool. It looks, you know, what you expect from it. A new retro and with pattern uh, red leather on it. And you know, it is what it is. They're trying to push the new retros again. And I can't be mad at them. It's a decently priced sneaker that looks okay. And you know, it is a Jordan 1. Colors used are black, white, and university red. Uh, those are not official, but I mean, pretty obvious what colors are using this one. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's a patent, it's a patent red colorway. So you get black and university red. Uh, it's okay. Like I said, the colors are pretty basic, what you expect from uh, patent red. So here it is, uh, the side panels are black with that Wings logo, and you have some uh, hits of the University Red on the toe box and on the heel. And it, that, that is the pattern uh, material that's used on the sneaker, just in those two areas. And um, I mean, that's all you need really. Other side has a smooth leather, and uh, it looks pretty cool, it looks plain enough. Uh, white midsole, red outsole, a little bit of a, that icy blue on the outsole as well. Uh, simple sneaker but it is okay looking and like i said they're trying to push these uh again so can't be mad at them have a red uh jump man on the tongue black laces black tongue once again you see that patent uh red colorway on the toe box which looks pretty cool uh very reflective very shiny but you know, if you know anything about patent leather it creases pretty bad so you can expect these to crease pretty bad over time uh black insole black sock liner red jump man on the insole as well so uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, nothing crazy about it. You know what to expect from these, and you know what you're getting from them. So here's a look at the back of the sneaker, more of that patent uh, red leather, a lot actually for the heel. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought they would have put so much on the heel on this one, but you know, it is what it is, and it looks okay. Uh, new, in a new shape, so we'll see how it looks as you wear it. And here's a look at the also. Uh, once again, you have a Jordan 1 uh, also, but you have that slice of icy blue on it with uh, most of you red for the rest of it. So it looks okay, it looks clean. It has a little bit of hit that you get with you when you have the new retros. So now let's move on to the release information. So these are set to release in spring 2024. No exact date yet. Should be friends with Nike retailers and a lot of other places. All the usual suspects, Foot Locker, JD Sports, finish line it shouldn't be a hard sneaker to find i don't think it's a sellout and they're only 105 bucks so you know they're readily available i don't expect you know big numbers from these because it's a new retro and they typically don't sell out well you'll find these at the outlets and stuff like that so if you just want to have a slice of the patent uh red uh red patent uh, colorway and you don't want to have to go for the highs or something like that which to be honest with you aren't really crazy in price right now you can get these for 105 and uh you know i mean it is it's an alternative, and uh, that's basically what you get with a lot of these sneakers, alternatives to sneakers that may have uh, gone up a lot in value. So I think this is a pretty decent alternative. Uh, like I said, 105 bucks, and uh, should be readily available, and we just need an exact release date. But as of right now, it's spring 2024, so look at it around at March, April, somewhere around that time, and uh, it should be dropping pretty soon. So now let's move on to value. So of course, when I talk about value, it's all speculation, it's all my opinion. I don't know exactly how these sneakers will do, but will these gain value long term? In my opinion, just my personal own opinion, uh, I just don't see it. I think this is not going to be a lot of value. Like I said, these may hit outlets. So at the best, you'll get these around retail. At, I mean, at worst, you'll get these around retail. At the best, you get these under retail. I don't think these will be over. I don't think these will be a sneaker that goes for 130, 140, 150. I think 100 bucks and then use uh, coupons and stuff on this. And you can get these for under 105 bucks in my opinion. And that's what I normally, you normally see from new retros. They don't sell well. It's just an alternative for people that don't want to have to go for the more expensive uh, sneakers. So now let's move on to Rocker Stock.
So when it comes to rocket stock, I talk about what the normal uh, consumer may think of these sneakers. Is it a rock? Is it a stock? Is it a pass? And when you sit around and think of these, I think this is going to be a mostly pass. Pass at the original price, and once they hit outlets or people can get it, use coupons on them, I think people buy them and wear them. Definitely not a stock. It has no uh, real value in, in that sense, I wouldn't think. Even with a, uh, a a more classic colorway like this patent bread. But I think it'll be more, mostly a pass, maybe a rock, but it's not a bad looking sneaker. It's not a, uh, a throwaway sneaker, but <clears throat> it is what it is. And I think it'd be more of a pass, more of a pass long term instead of anything else. But like I said, I could remove it off rock because I think people will rock these sneakers. Just rock a pass, not a stock. Let's go. So now let's move on to my recap and final grade. So once again, these are set to release in spring of 2024 for 105 bucks. Should be the fans in more family sizes. Should be a hard sneaker to find. Should be the fans in multiple locations, Nike retails, Nike.com, sneakers, Foot Locker, JD Sports, etc. All the usual suspects should have these. And eventually, like I said, these will go down for a little bit lower price than the 105. So definitely, definitely if you want to wait, wait for them. You don't pick them up now. I don't think they're going to sell out, but you never know. You could be wrong. This one, once again, is my opinion. So, uh, if you want these, I say go for it. Don't wait for it. Let's go for it. 105 bucks, not bad for a sneaker, especially for Jordan 1, even though it's a new retro one and not the regular Jordan 1s. But it is okay. It's a decent looking sneaker. It's okay in that sense, that sense of the word. And it's, it's decent. So, now I give you my final grade, which is 6 out of 10. In my opinion, it's a pass for me, but that's just my opinion. Uh, it's an okay sneaker, a little bit above average, but nothing crazy about it nothing that i have to absolutely have in my collection so it's a pass for me personally and you know six ain't bad though six ain't bad at all so let me know in the comments how you feel about these will you pick these up will you pass on them how you feel do you think they're just unnecessary for them to make these or just tell me how you feel all your thoughts about it but that's all i have for you on this one make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video check it uh, and that's all i have for you on this one peace talk to you all later bye Perfect.